This is my second review of the Skyfi by Alexander. Matthew from Alexander sent me an updated version. He was so kind and uh, talked to me about uh, the issue I was having with the first one and updated this one so that the DSP is updated and eliminates the distortion issue I was having in the first one. It just sounds terrific and uh, it's a great guy and I'm very thankful that he allowed me to review this again. The uh, mix knob here is going to control the amount of effect that's going to uh, your guitar signal. Reverb here is going to control the mix decay, okay, of the reverb. The delay is controlling the delay time. Repeats obviously controls the amount of repeats. Now you can have a, a brighter repeat over here, darker repeat all the way over here in the middle. It's uh, just, it's not really bright or dark per se. When you power up the pedal to start out with, you engage the pedal. We have it in what's called infinite mode. Now if you want it to be in freeze mode, you simply would unplug the pedal, hold down the foot switch, plug it back in, and it's going to give you this one blink. That says that says that the pedal is in freeze mode. I'll demonstrate what that means to you. I'm going to put the mix at about a quarter of the way up and bring that reverb up pretty high here. Let's engage the pedal. And again, I've got my Beneteau plugged in here. We have... So you hear a little bit of that delay in there. Let's bring the delay down a little bit. Now let's engage the hold function by holding it down. And what that does is it allows there to be a sort of a pad underneath there, if you play and then hold down the hold function, then you play notes that follow are going to be unaffected by the reverb, okay? So it adds a little bit of a cool pad underneath what you're doing without going completely out of control. Now let's say I want it to be in what's called infinite mode. I would unplug the pedal, disconnect it from this power source, hold down the foot switch, plug it back in. I'm gonna get five blinks, now I'm in infinite mode, which gives me something different in each setting. In wash, it is going to hold out this reverb sustain, it's going to increase. So let's, let's do that. <laughs> Itself, it's really cool. In the gleam mode, it just accentuates the um, the sparkle or gleam effect. This high octave here. Okay. And in the echo mode, we're going to get some crazy oscillation here. On the acoustic guitar, that can get away from you pretty quickly, okay? So you obviously get what that does. Let's go back to the wash mode and just talk about it in, in, uh, as the pedals engage without using it in, hold, in the hold function, which is also a really cool thing, by the way. The hold function is just, I think, what kind of sets this pedal apart from other pedals in this genre. Let's uh, talk about the reverb setting. We're going to mix this about the quarter of the way up reverb setting here is pretty high. Now I notice this really short delay here. If I, if I bring it back here, I'm not going to notice the delay so much. still pretty hot for the acoustic guitar for me. I like to mix it in the back. I also like the repeats down a little bit darker because the acoustic guitar is so bright that uh, I just think it accentuates those highs a little bit too much and can sound a little bit harsh. So uh, that's not this pedal, but any sort of digital reverb or delay, excuse me, that does that. <laughs> Really cool. Of course, we can.
can increase that delay. Let's go up to the Gleam setting here and let's see what we've got. Now we're going to increase the mix here. down makes it really useful for acoustic guitar and you can still hear that gleam let's put the repeats a bit brighter there and now if you crank up the mix Okay, the echo is a slow build reverb delay. So you can hold the foot switch here as we talked about before and it sends it into this oscillation. But I find that bringing this back, bringing the delay down just a bit. This has a lot of great uses for the acoustic guitar. You can really use it uh, as, as something to add pads to your stuff. You can mix it far back. You can mix it up. You can do all sorts of crazy atmospheric things with it, with the Evo on the acoustic, all sorts of things that, uh, that are really kind of different for the acoustic. But a lot of people use this on the electric, but I think it's got some great uses for the acoustic. So please check it out.